So now in this video, we're going to look at the 2426 integrated circuit here. It only has three pins, and I always see it labeled as TLE 2426, but uh, this has other letters on there, and uh, so I also see that when I see the picture. So in any case, if you look up TLE 2426, this is the component that you should find. So now what this component does is takes the rail voltage, so whatever we supply, in this case I put a battery schematic symbol, but uh, any voltage source works as long as it can handle the power you demand of it. So it takes the rail voltage and splits it to give us a virtual ground. And so in this video we'll be using 30 volts, but this component is good for, according to the data sheet I read, 4 to 40 volts, and the output can sync or source 20 milliamps of current and this is the basic layout right there so you can see it's three terminals we take the in and the common put them across the power supply into positive common to negative and then the out will be a halfway point which becomes our zero volt reference point and there is the pin layout right there so pin on the left is out pin in the middle is common pin on the right is in right there and so I already have it in the board but uh, right here out at the bottom common in the middle and then in at the top and so out I'll go to this jumper common to that jumper goes the negative rail and in the uh, top pin now goes to the positive rail so now I got the uh, multimeter I'll set this to measure voltage as I said before we'll be dealing with 30 volts we can measure that right there and so that's at the rail right there if I put the black probe right here, you'll see that uh, I go to the positive rail, we are halfway, so 15 volts out of 30. So that's positive right now. In relationship to this spot, we also have the negative rail. And there you can see we have negative 15 volts. And so we have a halfway point right there. Now you can see the actual power supply here. So I have it set to 30 volts. I'm limiting current to 20 milliamps right there. Right now you can see that uh, this integrated circuit's not using much power. Just sitting here, it doesn't show any anything on there. So this isn't uh, terribly accurate, but it's still usually within one or two uh, milliamps at that range. I'll take this uh, resistor here. This is a 2,200 ohm resistor because we'll be dealing with 15 volts. In fact, I'm going to briefly deal with 30, but in any case, it's uh, okay to do this. You'll see that uh, we have about six milliamps of current going from positive rail to our out right there, our virtual ground. So there's about 15 volt difference across the resistor there. Now we're gonna go to the negative. Again, there's about 15 volts across it, but this time it's in the opposite direction. So first we were sinking current. You think of current going positive to negative. That's conventional current. And uh, it was sinking current. That was more positive going there. Over here, it is the source of the current. Going positive to negative that way. Now, if I go across the uh, rail, of course, we saw there's about six milliamps of current with uh, going to the uh, ground pin from either way. And over here, you can see we got twice the current. The resistor is going to get hot really quick. So I uh, removed it. But uh, twice the current was flowing that way. So it's looking at half the voltage under different loads. So now we can change the load a little bit more. I'm going to take the uh, LED here and uh, plug it long lead the anode to that jumper because it goes to the positive rail. Short lead the cathode down one spot. And now I'm going to complete the connection with the uh, resistor over here. And there you can see the LED lights up and we got about 5 milliamps of current. Now I'm going to take the LED and put it over here, short lead the cathode to that jumper now. And uh, long lead the anode up here because that will be more positive that way. And uh, so we can see we got current flowing two different directions depending on what side of the power supply the other side of the load is on right there and the uh, pin kind of bent but uh, going to uh, plug that in there 
So you see that LED is on. I can take another LED, put it to the positive over there, and then put the uh, the long lead anode, the positive short lead, the cathode over there, and we're powering this LED independently. So it can either sync or source, and it's probably kind of canceling each other right now, and. Uh, so the, the same current is going through each LED when we do this, but it's holding zero volts at that point. But you can see the current didn't really change uh, because now we basically have 30 volts in series with that load. But even under different loads, now all the load is coming from the negative side of the power supply as far as the out pin is concerned. Now it is taking in that voltage, whatever it needs to do to hold zero volts at this point in relationship to positive 15 and negative 15 volts.